can you beat Kingdom Rush Frontiers with just artillery? I'm glad you asked. First level's a joke. In all of these challenges, the first level's a joke. You should be used to that by now. I'm using Ulrich. He's doing okay. But then I switched to Dante because I remembered, hmm, from my solo barracks attempt, what was the biggest freaking problem? The biggest problem, if you remember, was those giant wasps and the dragons. How do you deal with those with artillery? Well, by some of those later levels, I'll have some wasp missiles to shoot at the wasps. How fitting. <laughs> so it shouldn't be too bad. But so far, I have to deal with these freaking scorpions and these earlier levels. And so I'm just like, okay, I need to level up Dante so he can take on some horrid wasps and the wasp queens because they're freaking huge they split into smaller ones after you kill them so you know i'm like okay if i can get past those levels i'm gonna unlock the mecca is online and then i'll be able to beat this whole freaking thing i know the big boy will be our messiah he will be our deliverer he will be our jesus christ but for now we gotta take care of a genie okay we gotta throw some meteors from freaking the skies at him, all right? And they're doing okay. I got freaking Boneheart, all right? You gotta level him up to level 10 sometimes. That's just what you gotta do. He's really good, okay? It's worth it. His plague arrives and delivers us from evil, as you can see. So now I'm onto this level. I have been dreading this level, and that's why I leveled up Dante. You have to time the meteors right. I'm worried about those freaking healing shamans that... They're even hard for my artillery, fully upgraded to kill. But as you can see with this attempt, you can make it past with a measly frickin' four hearts so far. I think this is exactly what I did during the solo barracks attempt. And with this strategy, ladies and gentlemen, I can make it through this level. Oh yes, I can do it. I've done it before without cannons splashing up to the bees. And look at that! One star, I'm proud. So a couple bees make it through on this level and I'm like, all right, whatever, who cares? I can take out these monkeys. And I've done it so far with just one tower strategically placed here. There's another guy who's done it. I don't know what his name is. His YouTube channel is like, mm -hmm, or something like that. But anyway, so I chicken out from that. And I'm like, ah, I just want to beat this level. I want to get it over with. So I build some more towers. I just ground pound everything donkey kong style until all the donkey kongs are gone how fitting there we go wrapping it up oh this is the last level i can taste the battle mecca i can taste it guys and with the strategy that we learned from the solo barracks challenge honestly you should just watch that for kingdom rush frontiers because that's where i learned how to beat these levels you know, without anyone really being able to snipe all those freaking flying foes in these challenges. So I use that strategy. I use Boneheart to shoot out his green death breath strategically every 20 seconds or whatever. Look at that. Three stars. And finally we did it. We got Battle Mega. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to ruin the challenge for you. But if you've ever used this tower and just spammed it, you know that it is OP, baby. OP to the max. Seriously, I, you could just build them and just sit them there. You don't even need heroes. Yeah, I should have done these last few levels without heroes, but you know what's coming. You know that this challenge is possible with Battle Mecha Online. It's so good. The wasp missiles just destroy everything. They're freaking heat seeking. They're evil seeking missiles. They'll just hunt them down. They never miss. They do 20 to 80 damage. Plus during this whole challenge, I have something very important helping me out. I have the final upgrade of most of this challenge for the artillery. You know what that is? Yes, I will tell you what it is. The nerds already know. Every single artillery blast can stun enemies. So why would you need any barracks on the ground anyways? You can just stun, stun, stuns a lot all over. Like, that, it's really all you need. This freaking tower is amazing. I honestly think this tower could be so good that it rivals that of the Tesla. It might even be better. I mean, it shoots out fast. It hunts down people for you across the frickin' whole level with the wasp missiles. Like, and it slows people down greatly. And it's pretty expensive, but any good artillery is. 
And now I fight this boss. I'm like, okay, I'm underestimating him. I'm not going to lie. I am underestimating him. I'm thinking, I'll just wipe the floor with this guy. But his monkeys have a lot of health. He has a lot of health. Look how close he's getting to the exit. Holy crap. Shnikes, Batman. And we finally take him out. So that was a near miss as far as I'm concerned. But now I have to show you this footage of the dragons in the caves. Because guess what? These guys gave me nightmares during my solo barracks attempt. They are dreadful if you have no way to take care of them. So now I got missiles. I can take down the dragons. I have to show you every chance I get just taking down the dragons because they just, they ruined me, okay? They made me feel like I'm not a man anymore. Look at that. I can just sit there and my big boy robots from the pits of heck will just hunt them down. It's amazing. I can greatly slow down enemies with all of my freaking oil spills. Somebody should probably check that out. Lazy engineers, whatever. Works in my favor, slows down lizards. It's all going good. I've done this level with solo artillery before, so I knew it was gonna be possible. Of course it is. They can take out everything. So now I have like two levels left. This is going great. Look at that, destroying more dragons. God, I hated these in that freaking barracks challenge. You have no idea how good it feels to melt all of the dragons and the children's they shoot out of their butts at three dragons per flap. That's an unbearably high reproduction rate. So anyways, I've done this level before with solo artillery. I mean, after you unlock freaking the big boy, the missile shooter, the everything killer, you're just like, okay, I wanna just use this tower all the time because it's phenomenal. Dwarp is a pretty good tower, I'm not gonna lie. It's got insta-kill. You can smash tons of stuff at once, that's amazing. Plus, then you got the stunny upgrade of the artillery and you're just like, all right, this, these things are awesome. These towers have it all in this game. They are amazing. Sure, in the post game, you know, the freaking giant crabs from that beach in Vegas, they'll, they'll, yes. Yes, they'll be immune to artillery. And so you can't just do that in those later levels. But you know what? I'm just focusing on the campaign right now. So give me some freaking slack. Okay. They're making it pretty far. I'm on to wave 15. And now it's boss time. Oh, yeah. I am 100% certain I will take down this boss without even lifting a freaking finger. I can just sit here. Dante's been level 10 for a few levels now. He's shooting down everything. And Dante has an awesome passive ability that helps with wasps too. It's, it's worth mentioning, okay? He just powers up your nearby allies. So your reinforcement shooting bows and arrows at everything will be extra buff. And look at that. We are about to beat him. He's going down. Yeah! So can you beat Kingdom Rush Frontiers with just artillery? Heck yes! <laughs> We got a boost victory! Hold up the hammer! Yeah! Oh, that felt good. Take that, you flying idiots.